to the Rev. Charles Overton, curate of Romaldkirk, by Thomas Moore, author of the Potical Portraiture of the Church, sweet singer of Romaldkirk, thou who art reckoned by critics Episcopal David the Second, if thus, as a curate, so lofty your flight, only think, in a rectory, how you would write. Once fairly inspired by the tithe crowned Apollo who beats, I confess it, our lay Phoebus hollow, having gotten, besides the old nine's inspiration, the tenth of all eatable things in creation. There's nothing in fact that a poet like you, so benigned and betended, couldn't easily do. Round the lips of the sweet-tongued Athenian, they say wild yet, but a babe in his cradle, he lay wild honeybees, swarmed as presage to tell, of the sweet flowing words, that thence afterwards fell. Just so round our Overton's cradle, no doubt tenth ducklings, and chicks were seen flitting about. Goose embryos, waiting their doomed decimation, came shadowing forth his adult destination, and small, sucking tithe pigs, in musical droves, announced the church poet, whom Chester approves. O oh, Horace, when thou, in thy vision of yore, didst dream that a snowy white plumage, came o'er thy etherealized limbs, stealing downily until, by fancy's strong spell, thou wert turned to a swan, little thought'st thou such fate, could a poet befall, without any effort of fancy, at all. Little thought'st thou the world, would in Overton find a bird, ready-made, somewhat different in kind, but as perfect as Michaelmas self, could produce, by God's yclept answer, by mortals a goose.